Hey YouTube, this is American Family Now. We haven't made a video in a while, but I've been going on a lot of the prepper sites and watching videos and seeing a lot of people talking about rainwater collection systems. And I wanted to demonstrate what we have on our homestead or off-grid house. And what I've, what I've developed very quickly, I'll flip my camera around if I can, maybe I can't. Anyways, spin it around like this. What I have here, is a PVC pipe. PVC pipe goes all, almost all the way up to where the downspout is supposed to connect into the gutter. And what I have here is a waterproof container, essentially, that as the water flows down into the PVC pipe, it can build up a column of water, which when you build up a column of water, you're creating water pressure. And with this system, I can actually go pretty much anywhere around the property. And because my water pipe or my downspout is, you know, I don't know, it's about 12 feet above me. So it allows me to take a hose, like right here. I have a hose connected to an RV filter. And that's a five micron RV filter works out for cleaning most most of the garbage you want out charcoal and i've got a couple pex tubing that i've got hooked on here with nozzles on the end with valves that i can just essentially bring it around to my water collection system in my basement and fill all my different ibc totes up at how you know if one if i run one dry i can fill that one up if i run two dry i can fill one one up and then move the hoses over and fill up the other one i have this rubber elbow right here. The reason why I have a rubber elbow is because we live in Maine, it gets really cold. And what will happen is if I don't allow this thing to drain out, it will freeze and I'll have PVC bust. So as it starts to get colder, um, I'll disconnect this thing and the little rain that we have won't, you know, it won't, it won't just stay in there, you know, because if it freezes in here at all, then the rain is going to get stuck in this bottom part and we don't want that. So I just disconnect it and let whatever water flow out. If I know we're gonna have a big rainstorm, I'll connect it back up again because I know there won't be any risk of freezing. Let the rainstorm happen, fill whatever containers I need up with water and then disconnect it afterwards so I don't, it doesn't freeze like during the night or something like that. And the other good thing about this system, I'll step back a little bit, is that if I painted it, which I intend to paint it, the, the hunter green that the trim, I'm doing this backwards, I apologize for the crappy video. But anyways, I'll paint that green. If you lived in California, I don't, I'm not saying absolutely, but if you lived in California, you had PVC coming down from your gutter, you paint it like the trim of your house color or whatever, you make it look like it is an actual downspout. Down here, you don't have to have a barrel, which makes it obvious that you're collecting water. You could have that PVC pipe go like right down into the ground to make it look like it's going into like some kind of drainage system into your lawn, but you could cap it off at the bottom somewhere and then put a spigot out through here, camouflage it and have, have it so you can hook your hose up to it and just bring your water, you could bring the hose into your house. And as long as that water, the water level stays above the container, you know, by a foot or so of what you're actually filling up, then you can fill up containers any place in your house, you know? So essentially, that's, that's what I, we can do here. It works really well. I can build up enough pressure to power these little RV filters. They have this five micron, then there's a one micron you could go. And I would say the five micron, I would drink most of the rainwater, but we noticed that because we have wood stove, if the wood stove has been running and we have not collected water, there will be a ashy, smoky flavor to the water until the roof gets cleaned off. So the one micron filter will take care of that. But since, since then, we've actually gone to a three, three step water filtration system, which goes way further down and you know, the water tastes better anyways. But for a survival situation, you could easily pick up a pack of those things for like 25 bucks for two of them and then a $30 one micron. And I would deem it safe to drink unless you had a lot of pollutants in the air. But there again, if it's a survival situation or you can get a Berkey or whatever, uh, anyways, I wanted to make this this video pretty quick and it's almost five minutes So that's what we've done. It works out. Well, I 
I am not a huge fan of the having the big containers underneath when you can do something like this for 50 bucks. It's pretty cheap, works well. Have a good day.